right, today we have a, an experiment that has to do with figuring out the pH levels of two different samples. So we got alkalinity sample B, alkalinity sample A, a total alkalinity indicator, and phenylalanine phenyl 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 we're going to call it P indicator solution, and this thing is in pH paper. So the first step is water sample A, which would be this one. You've got to fill it up to 25 milliliters. You need to get this up to 25 milliliters, and right about there. Put this lid back on. Next step is three drops of the P indicator, and the swirl to mix. I always get so nervous messing around with chemicals that I don't know. Every single little abrasion that happens to my skin, I'm always like, oh no, the chemicals, they're burning my skin. I'm gonna have to go and get it amputated. Okay, we need three drops. So, one, two, three. Ah, okay, it is pink. It says to swirl to mix. It should turn and remain to pinkish red. That is just not as pink as it should be yet. That was three drops though. It is sort of pink. If needed, add another drop swirl and check to see. Yeah, the more drops might, might be needed. I'm gonna say that the more drops are needed. Let's do one, two. Yeah, it's getting there. Still, it shows it being much darker than that. Let's keep going. One, two, three, four. All right, well, I guess it's about as dark as it's gonna get. Next, the drops of titrant low, which would be, it says total alkalinity indicator on the bottle, but in here it calls it alkalinity titrant low. One drop. This titrant is a 0.12 N solution of sulfuric acid in water. Oh, mate, sulfuric acid. There was something else in that bag that said sulfuric acid on it. It says a, a 0.12 in solution of sulfuric acid in water. Okay, so it says that, that this one's next. So, I was wrong, I was wrong, I was wrong. The next step is using this sulfuric acid, which is the alkalinity titrant low, and adding drops. The color changes completely from red to colorless. Completely. So, I mean, I added kind of a lot of... <laughs> oh well. It's still not quite as pink as a picture, though. So, count the drops. One, two, three... Four and swirl. Wow, wow, that's that's like completely clear. Wow, but I think I didn't do any more, eh? That's completely clear. Wow. Okay, well that was four. Gotta write that down. Okay, that's four drops for P alkalinity. This so the sample is now down to eight point three. Yeah, pH paper time, so we can check to make sure that it it really is at eight point three. One thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. This might be a little bit li lighter than eight point three. No, no, there it goes. It is. It is. It's darkening. All right. Add three drops of the total alkalinity indicator. It will turn red when the pH is four point five. Three drops. It says. One, two, three. Look at that. It's beautiful. Swirl to mix. The sample should turn green. Add one drop of the original alkalinity titrant low, which would be sulfuric acid again. Then swirl observe a color change, so it's green right now. And then add the next drop, count the number of drops until the color change from green to red occurs completely. So green, it's Christmas. Two, three. Okay, it is not even close to the red yet. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, it's changing a little bit, I think. It almost looks kind of clear right now. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. This is sad. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, no, at the very top, at the very top, it's turning pink. There we go. Oh, that's a good color right there. Perfect. So what was that, like 27? Okay. Use the pH paper to check that the sample is now 45. Wow. Wow, okay, so that is a lot closer. That is a lot lighter. <laughs> it's like close to yellow. It is, it is yellow. It's like right between three and four, I think. Or right at four. Sam blue is 4.5. Yeah, I think it's 4.5. I think it's good. Yep. Experiment part one complete. Time to go clean. And we are back with a freshly cleaned cup. And I'm completely sopping gloves inside and out because I decided to wash my disposable gloves because I am brilliant like that. <laughs> anyway, we're doing the same exact thing this time, only with sample number B. Letter, letter B. We're gonna spill up first to the 
25 millimeter mark. Oh, hey, that goes out a lot faster than last time. Like, last time I had to like squeeze it. Hey, we got like just perfect. Fantastic. So first step to doing this is the P indicator. Three drops of it. More drops may be necessary. We just need a pink color. One. Whoa. 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 Okay, that's the color they were looking for last time. Whoa. That was like one drop. Or maybe I did two because I didn't know that it was gonna, oh my goodness. Golly, that's a bright color. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's a pinkish red color. We need one drop of alkaline minty titrant low, which is a sulfuric acid, and then swirl observe for change. We want it to go until it is clear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna stop at seven and swirl it. Hey, nice. Kind of a little bit brighter. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Almost there. I think if we did maybe one more. No, no, that's pretty clear. No, there's there's no more pink in that. No, that's good. There's no more pink in that. We have a clear. That was 18 drops. Next step is to make sure this is actually approximately 8.3. Oh my goodness, it's wet inside of my gloves too. This is why you don't wash your disposable gloves, people. We need it to be... 8.3. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000. Oh, it makes me so nervous. Wet glove. Oops. Okay. I'm gonna just hold up this one for a bit. Yeah, and that is pretty much the same color as my last strip. So these are both supposed to be 8.3. This one's kind of old, so it looks a little bit different, but that's about the same color, you know, compared. I think it's good. It's clear. Now, we need to do three drops of the total alkalinity indicator. It's gonna turn green. Let's roll the mix. 1, 2, 3. Swirl the mix. It's green. It's pretty nice green. It's about the same as last time. Alkalinity titrant low, which is the same thing as the sulfur gases, like I said. We want it to turn red. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just start there. I have no idea how much this thing needs. Five, okay, it's gonna take a bit. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Huh? I think I saw a little bit of pink at the top. Nah, it's not there yet though. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Nah, 20 is still not enough for sure. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. I keep on thinking I see pink. 27. Oh, hey, hey. No, that was definitely pink for a second. It just turned back green. I see what it's doing. It just turns back green. Like, it, it, it does turn pink. It just turns back green. That was 27. And it's not pink yet. It actually, it's turning, like, back more green. What in the world? Okay, 27. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Hey! What in the world? <laughs> We're close, my friends. We're very close. 34, 35, 36, 37. There we go. 37. Hey, did it stay there, though? No? I think that we should make it a little bit more red. 38, 39. Kind of want to make it a rounded. Oh! No. Gotta keep it at 39. That's, that's definitely red right there. 39. Okay. That's T alkalinity, not P alkalinity, T alkalinity. Gotta make sure this is actually 45. One, two, three. How beautiful. This is like so similar to the color that we had before. Well, maybe a little bit dark. But then this one was a little bit light. So there we go. There we have the results. And that is the true end of our experiment. Thanks for watching.